What's up guys and welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial video. In this video I'm not going to show you guys how to do anything at all. Except if you're a beginner out there and you want to learn Roblox scripting and all that sort of cool stuff then you better watch this video because we're going to cover the Roblox Studio basics. Nice. So the first thing you might recognize when you first open a Roblox game is the home page. And you have mostly if you're an experienced person like we, I'm not that experienced. You might have explorers, properties, output, and maybe the command bar out. And yeah. And the explorer, you can see the workspace, players, lighting, yeah, the bunch of stuff. The workspace will be really important if you want to make some games because it, that'll be where all your visible parts will be. And so we have the camera, terrain, spawn location, and the base plate. The base plate is like a giant part that you're then you're standing on in this template game and anyways here's the select move scale and rotate part now you may not if you're an absolute beginner you may not know what these parts are for but the next thing I'll do will show you so the mode geometric physical I don't really know what these things do it's just I'm kinda new too but I, but I have some experience and the edit and the terrain editor you can either generate a seed like in minecraft yeah that's kind of a coincidence by the way and there's a region, yeah, all, all these stuff I don't really know. And the edit, this is the most the one I'm most familiar with. Sea level, you can generate some water. You can add some terrain, like grass. And, yeah. You'll learn pretty quickly. Yeah, you click subtract. Let me just delete all this. Uh, you can grow. You can road. Yeah, just play with all the, all the things that you got. Like, it's... Like, terrain editor will be kind of useful if you want to make, like, realistic stuff. You know, let me just delete this last patch of grass. Just a sec, that. Just a sec, guys. Okay, be size 20. Yep, it's all gone. Okay, now, now I'm going to get into the other stuff. So, the toolbox, there's a bunch of online resources that I can use. There's a neutral spawn point. There's a wall. Why would you need a wall? Seriously, you could just make a wall with a scale tool. And, yeah, you could just make a wall. What? What is that? But, oh yeah, I forgot to get into these move, scale, and rotate tools. So anyways, if you make a part, if you, you can make a part like block, spear, wedge, wedge cylinder, you can, you can select, you can move around, like drag it around, moving, you can use the arrows, you can drag the arrows, scale, you can move, you can do it like this, and rotate, you can rotate the parts. Well, this might not seem that important, it will... Well, yeah, it does sound kind of important. It will be useful for, like, if you want to make good, if you want to make, like, model or something like that, yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. The UI, you can make, like, a screen GUI and a frame. Yeah, it's basically, like, the thingies that you see. Like, if you see a health bar, like, that's not custom-made on the top right, if it's, if it's custom-made. And it's not like the one on the top right. It'll be. It'll probably be a UI. And material and color. Those are for the parts. Play. You know what that means. So you just test the game. Game settings. You, you could. If you save it to Roblox, you can like edit the game settings, like how, like monetization, places, that kind of stuff. And the properties. If you make a part, it'll have properties. Properties are like transparency, the brick color. Yeah. All. If you like encountered it before, like if you want to make an invisible part, you could tra 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 transparency one. But I won't get into all that. Anyways, the model, and there's also transform. Also, that I don't really know. I don't mess around with that that much. And the rotate and move. This is how much you want to like shrink your part. Like, like every drag, it will be like 0 0.1. Where if you change it to one, or yeah, just change it to one, it will be like this. Yeah, and same thing with rotate. So, see how it's rotating like right now. If you do it to like thirty, you can rotate it like this. Okay, let me just change it back to the default settings of mine. Okay, and edit, pivot, snap, reset. I don't really know. Align tool, no. You know what these things are. Oh, and the lock. It allows you to not drag you drag around things with a select tool. And grouping and anchors. Like, say if you want to like group these two parts together. Like, you just hold shift while you click the other part, and you group them together, and yep, you got a group. And you can also anchor them so they don't, like, fall. And here's the constraints. The constraints I'm not too familiar with, but I watched a lot of videos. I watched 
some videos, like on how to make a bow, that kind of stuff. So basically, there's a bunch of constraints that you use to like make complicated stuff, and the effects. So say you want to like light something on fire, and you can use these effects like this, and yeah, they're built-in effects, so you don't have to worry about like using them. Oh. And you can also spawn other spawn locations. And there's a bunch of stuff that you, there's that's like scripting stuff. I don't really know that. And if you start a server, it'll be a local server. Oh yeah, yeah, you can like test it on a server. And device, it'll be important to see what kind of device you play on. It'll be like, yeah. Okay, anyways, let me just switch it back. And the view, this is where the explorer properties and output the command bar came in. If you don't want to see the explorers or property or anything, or any of these, you can just click it, and yeah, it will, it'll be like this. Let me just change these back. Or if you want to like add some other stuff, yeah, this is where you like. This is the hub for like v viewing stuff. That's what the view thing is all about. And full screen, sh yeah, this is just a bunch of view stuff, not really important unless you want to like do something else. I might get into that later. I'm not really experienced. And yeah, here are some plugins. Most of these I added into my Roblox Studio, but Build Rig Tools, Avatar Importer, Audio Discovery, and Animations are all made by Roblox. They're all built in. So no matter what you do, you can't just not get them. They're still there. And anyways, that's it for the Roblox Studio basics. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And check, check out the next video in this series. I promise I'll continue the series and like my scratch one. This scratch is not really important in ways to Bye guys!